Uh, very good question, and perhaps it will be my last question that I'll answer. Uh, I've written a book, I suppose you can call it a book. It's, a, it's just a draft copy, it's 100 pages, and it's for free, so you can just take it with you if you want. It's got qualities of truth and reincarnation and divine love. In there, I list five of the many reasons why many people on earth believe they are reincarnations of somebody. And I'll explain some of them in a minute. Mm -hmm. and so there's a hundred copies of that, so um, you can take whatever you need. If you can leave some for tomorrow's group, we've got about 50 or so coming along tomorrow as well. So if you could uh, leave some for them tomorrow, it'd be good. The explanation is this. If you believe in reincarnation when you pass, what will you try to do? Um, not necessarily come back. Well, let's say you you re you believed in reincarnation on Earth, yeah. and when you went up to the spirit world, instead of passing into the nice places of the spirit world, <laughs> yeah. you passed into the hells of the first sphere. Let's say that's where the hells are in that location. So let's say your surroundings were all dark and dingy and smelly and uncomfortable. What would you want to do? Go up higher. Uh, well, most of them don't even know what's up higher. They want to go back down, in most cases. Because they don't know if there's anything about them. Right? So what they do is they try to connect to another person who's already on Earth. And what they try to do is influence that person as much as they possibly can and to remain <laughs> in connection with them. And the way they do that is by feeding the person images and thoughts and memories of their own life. And when they do that, the person's going to start believing that they had those experiences. Like that? And once you believe something, you now have that attraction between yourself and the spirit. Now, as soon as you develop that attraction with a spirit, that spirit now has the ability to utilize your body depending on how much you want them to utilize it. Now, this happens all the time with uh, people who are uh, heavy drinkers, for example. So, people, who of you have drunk to the point of oblivion? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, what happens there, how many of you have drunk to the point of oblivion but still been standing up and you don't know how you ever got home or anything like that? Has anybody done that? There's, there's a few. Right. What's actually happened is a spirit has connected with you and kept you drinking and kept you awake and kept you alive and, kept, and drove you home for you. So that's why you do stuff that you don't normally do when you're drunk. That is exactly right. Because you have a stronger connection with the spirit. Who's, who's, that, the reason why the spirit wants it is there's no drink in the spirit world, right? Sorry to disappoint all of you if you thought there would be. There is no. And so what will you want if you really badly want to drink? You are going to want to get drink from the earth. Because you know that's where you can get it. Now... This is just one of the explanations that I've explained in, in the, the book about why people believe in reincarnation. There are actually people on the natural love path in the sixth year who believe in reincarnation as well. And uh, the reason why is they had a long life of being taught it all the way through their earth life. And they know that it's a fact as well, because they know that since 1962 somebody has done it. So you add those two things together, and so they believe in it very strongly. And you can see historically even that since the 60s, Reincarnation has become a predominant Western teaching mm -hmm. only since the 60s. Can you see that? Before then, it was predominantly an Eastern teaching. That's your fault, don't you? Yeah, I suppose you can blame that. <laughs> but it's only since the 60s that that has occurred. Well, you, um, sorry. Sorry. How do you know that for sure? But how do you know that nobody before um, when we started? Uh, because I was the first, my soulmate pair was the first pair to enter the 22nd sphere to make it possible. Uh, yes, but they have not received divine love. It's only possible with divine love. It's only possible with the connection with God.